Hey everybody, what's going on? Brian here. I am back with another roller coaster review today, Sunday, January 8th. And somehow they let me back across the border. I'm back home in the good old US of A. Now, the park we just did, La Ronde, that is technically a Six Flags park. And we're gonna literally do hundreds of roller coasters from those major corporate chains like Six Flags. There's another uh, chain called Cedar Fair. Busch Gardens, Universal, Disney, SeaWorld, you've heard of all these mega chains. But sometimes the most fun that you can have at an amusement park is those small, independently family-owned amusement parks, like the one we're at today, Quasi, here in Middlebury, Connecticut. Now, they're mostly known for just one major roller coaster called Wooden Warrior. Some friends of mine are gonna join me in a few minutes, and we're gonna ride, and we're gonna review Wooden Warrior and let you know if this little tiny park, and by tiny, I mean tiny. I could take a rock and throw, not with this hand, I'm a righty. I could throw it as far as I could and I could probably reach the other end. Maybe not, it, it's tiny. It's, it's like not even a quarter of a mile to the other end, other end of this park. So is this park worth it just for that one ride? Well, that's what we're here to tell you. Let's go do it. So while we're not doing a full on review of this little guy, Little Dipper, it actually has quite a bit of history. This thing has been in the park since 1952. That makes it, as far as steel coasters go, the third oldest continuously operating roller coaster in the United States. Overall, it's like 24th, even if you count wood. So, I mean, it's not all about wooden warrior here. If you want a little historic credit, hop on the Little Dipper, why not? And especially, check out these views. This is enough to visit this park alone. This is gorgeous. All right, I am joined by my awesome friends, Matt and Gabby, from the Coasters and Brews YouTube channel and Buzz Bars Coaster Club. So, hey guys. Hi. So, hey. so tell us a little bit about yourselves. What do you do in this, in this crazy industry that we have? I drink beer and ride roller coasters. Slums it up. Pretty much it. I also yeah. doodle. I doodle and ride roller coasters. I would say more than doodle. Okay. Seriously, if you, if you like, a few drinks and roller coasters, the YouTube channel to go to. Yes. Absolutely. I review bars at amusement parks. Uh, and all that like stuff. no one else. It's a good time. Yeah. Come join us sometime. Some of the best amusement park art and design. I'm biased. I would say the best personally, but um, these, right 100%. <laughs> Stop it. these guys are super 110%. talented. I'll drop their YouTube and Gabby's shop in the description below. But we're here to ride a wooden warrior, which I've been telling you about earlier. Now, it's only 32 feet tall. It's only 30, it's only 35 miles per hour, only 1,200 feet of track. I've literally traveled the country with these guys. We've been to New Jersey, Florida, Indiana, even Idaho. That's Idaho. <laughs> We've been to Idaho. And yet the one ride that I've ridden more times with these guys than any is this guy. And why is that? For those stats, airtime. Awesome, awesome. Airtime. It's by a manufacturer called Gravity Group. It came here in 2011. You guys excited? Hype. Always hype for this. I come here all the time. I freaking love this ride. It's amazing. I'm a little spoiled. It's 25 minutes from my house. So. Pretty good. All right, should we stop talking and actually ride? Yes. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's do it. Coasters approved. We drink beer. Uh, I said we weren't going to review Little Dipper, but yeah. we just got on. That was awesome. Amazing. One, like, the view. Airtime City. The view. The view. I showed the view earlier. It's like, yeah, like legit a great view from the lift hill. Yeah, the lift hill. <laughs> and we got set three times. Three times. Actual legit airtime. Yeah, for... that, that second that hill. second hill, yep. Dude. Second hill I claim. <laughs> So uh, this isn't an official review like of the roller coaster of the day, but that honestly, Wooden Warrior is enough. But now you got to come for a little dipper. 100%. Amazing. <laughs> third, yeah, the third oldest steel coaster in the U.S. All right, we just got off of Wooden Warrior and we're back in line. Why are we back in line? That shit slaps. It's that good. It's no Black Mamba. <laughs> All right, no. Mr. Yorba. <laughs> Yorba's shaking in its boots right now. Ooh, this ride is so much fun. It's absolute blast. You could be a small child or the most die-hard enthusiast. You're gonna thoroughly enjoy this ride. 
honestly, if you're yeah. skipping this ride on your trip to New England, yeah. you're making a huge mistake. Yeah. yeah, this is absolutely well worth a visit. Like, is the are the thrills gonna blow you away? No, but this is a ride where you're just gonna be smiling and laughing the whole time. It's just phenomenal. And flying out of your seat, dude. Fairtown City, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, and super smooth. Like for a wooden ride, super super smooth. Same. So for a score, this little tiny park in Connecticut. This is a 7.31. That's right, it's better than anything at La Ronde. All right. Deserves. Yes. All right, that's it from here, here at Quasi. We're gonna go to New Park tomorrow and get this thing going. Where? I still don't know. This, this won't be the last time. Yeah, I'm, I'm booking you guys for another video. Let's go. Uh, we'll see you soon. Love these two. Love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.